folks, it is Sunday, fun day, so you know what time it is. It is time for the top five plays. Now, let's see who will get the number one spot. But for play number one, it was a player dropping dimes like it was hot. Clue play number five. To GICC we go. It's a player that has the D leaning. Here's Jack Alvarez giving Shake a Bake a new meaning. Faking it with the jab, but then hits the gas, goes by the defense, and finishes with the pass. Albert gets an assist with a really nice find, which lands Jack at play number five. Coming in at number four, it's a guy who represents the Pats in AC, coming up big for his team with this clutch three. Folks, if you need somebody to change the game quick, call on my guy. His name is Decker Schistick to win the game. Oh, man, that was an important score. This play lands him at play number four. Coming in at number three, let's head out to the girls at Grand Island High. In a certain event, they can't beat, and I know why. These girls come in with the mindset, you can't take this. This is why they own the event, the flat water fracas. They did it not one, not two, but folks, this was a three-peat. They get play number three for the years they haven't been beat. Coming in at number two, back to AC because they had themselves a day. How about Austin Vance finishing with the tough lay, doing it on both ends, and he started off with the steal, then he goes coast to coast to the cup, helped seal the deal. Shout out to the Pats repping the red, white, and blue and Austin Vaughn's for the lay and play number two. Now coming in at number one is the Cardinals flying in high for DT. They got a guard who can pass. His name is Jack Poppy. Leading the fast break, hitting the D with a no look dime, faking the defense out. Oh my, this should be a crime. Donovan Trump will beat a team probably twice their size, but DT boys didn't care. They had their eyes on the prize. They played the game as if they feared none, and Jack Pop released a countdown with play number one.